In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 17. To do this, we want to look at perfect squares nearby to 17. Examples of this include 4 squared, which is 16, and 5 squared, which is 25. And we can see that 17 lies between 16 and 25, so we can write the following inequality. 16 is less than 17, which is less than 25. Now we can take the square root of all of these values. To get the square root of 16 is less than the square root of 17, which is less than the square root of 25. The square root of 16 is equal to 4. This is because 4 squared is equal to 16. The square root of 25 is equal to 5, because 5 squared is equal to 25. Now we can see that the square root of 17 is between 4 and 5. To find a tenths place approximation, we want to pick a tenths place decimal between 4 and 5 that when multiplied by itself gives us something close to 17. Because 17 is very close to 16, we can pick something closer to 4, such as 4.1. Let's see what 4.1 squared is, and if it's close to 17, then we'll have our solution. 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 1 is 4. Add our 0. 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. When we add these values together, we get 16.81. So, we can see that 16.81 is very close to 17. So we can approximate it to 17 and say that 4.1 squared is approximately 17. Now, if we take the square root of both sides, we can then cancel out the squared and the square root here and just get 4.1. And we can say that 4.1 is approximately the square root of 17. So this is our tenths place approximation for the square root of 17.